Welcome to this MSW program overview. Brought to you by the University of Utah College of Social Work Office of Admissions and Academic Advising. Visit us at www.socialwork.utah.edu. At the University of Utah College of Social Work, our mission statement is, through education, research, and community engagement, the College of Social Work advances the transformation of policies, practice, and interventions to alleviate human suffering, enhance well-being, and promote social justice. The National Association of Social Workers Code of Ethics states, the primary mission of the social work profession is to enhance human well-being and help meet the basic human needs of all people with particular attention to the needs and empowerment of people who are vulnerable, oppressed, and living in poverty. Social workers are needed in a variety of settings, including healthcare settings, aging facilities, schools, private practice, research settings, corrections facilities, psychiatric facilities, homeless shelters, nonprofit organizations, refugee relocation centers, mental health clinics, residential treatment centers, the Military and Veterans Association, substance use facilities, DCFS, and JJYS, just to name a few. Let's look at how social work differs from other mental health professions. In the field of marriage and family therapy, you would first earn a master's degree after which you would be eligible to apply for your marriage and family therapist license. After meeting additional requirements, including a certain number of supervised hours, you can become a licensed marriage and family therapist practicing in the area of psychotherapy. In the field of clinical mental health counseling, you would need to earn a master's degree or a bachelor's degree plus a certificate. Then you could apply for your clinical mental health counselor license and after meeting additional requirements, including a minimum number of supervised hours, you would become a licensed clinical mental health counselor. In addition to practicing psychotherapy, you would also practice case management and clinical assessment. Now let's look at social work. After earning your Master of Social Work degree, you can apply for your certified social worker license. And after meeting additional requirements, including a minimum number of supervised hours, you can become a licensed clinical social worker. In addition to practicing psychotherapy, case management, and clinical assessment, social workers also practice advocacy and administration with a focus on social justice. So why social work? Social workers look for solutions using a person in environment perspective. For example, a man suffering stress stemming from single parenting may be referred to a child care agency in addition to getting therapy. Social workers also work for social change. For example, a survivor of assault will benefit from therapy and efforts to curb violence on a micro, individual and family, meso, group and community, and macro, organizational and societal level. Why get your Master of Social Work degree at the University of Utah? U.S. News ranked us in the top 11% of social work graduate programs in the nation. We have partnerships with over 400 practicum agencies. We offer the Utah School Social Work Career Path. Our research programs and facilities are among the top in the country. Please note the remaining options may be limited or unavailable based on program option and campus choice. We have seven areas of focus and two graduate certificates, one in women's health and one in leadership, justice, and community practice. Lastly, we have three dual degree program options where you can earn your Master of Social Work degree alongside a Master of Public Administration, a Master of Public Health, or a Juris Doctor. The Master of Social Work program is structured to support collaborative work in social work, education, research, and public service. It utilizes the advanced generalist perspective, which integrates various theories, methods, and skills to address complex social issues at all levels, micro, meso, and macro. Students are provided an opportunity to build advanced generalist knowledge and skills in specific areas of practice through the selection of an area of focus. Students attending the in-person advanced standing or two-year program options choose an area of focus as they prepare to enter their specialist year. 
area of focus choice does not limit your career possibilities, but will affect practicum placement. All areas of focus incorporate aspects of mental health. The seven areas of focus are aging, child welfare, forensic, global, health, mental health, and substance use. Please pause the video now if you would like to read about the types of practicum placements available for each area. Admission into the Master of Social Work program requires the following. A bachelor's degree. It can be in any field and it can be in progress as long as you expect it to be awarded before the MSW program begins. Only the advanced standing program option requires a Bachelor of Social Work degree and it must have been conferred within the last seven years. We require a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. However, applicants with a lower GPA can still be considered. You will be required to submit a GPA statement with your application and you are encouraged to submit at least one academic recommendation. There are two prerequisites human development across the lifespan or human behavior in the social environment and research methods, which can be in any discipline. Prerequisites do not have to be complete before applying, but must be complete before beginning the program. Lastly, to get this all started, you will submit an application to the MSW program. You will need to submit transcripts. Unofficial transcripts are acceptable. You will need to submit three recommendations your resume, and a statement of purpose. A separate application to the graduate school is not necessary as it is combined with the MSW application. The College of Social Work does not conduct criminal background checks. However, many human service organizations require individuals to pass criminal background checks before entering field placements or practicum. Practicum is required for MSW degree completion. In addition, the Utah Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing, DOPL, may ask about criminal history in the application for licensure and may request an explanation. In some instances, candidates with extensive or recent criminal backgrounds may be unable to secure a license. Questions regarding licensing should be directed to DOPL, which can be found at dopl.utah.gov. It's important to understand the difference between attending online versus in person because once you are admitted, you will not be permitted to switch programs. So let's take a look. With the online program, your courses are asynchronous. That means there are no scheduled class meetings. Your area of focus will be mental health and the advanced practice course you take, which is outside your area of focus, will be substance use. Regarding elective credits, the courses are predetermined. And the good news about tuition is that it is not determined by residency. This means that you pay the same tuition rate whether you are a Utah resident or not. Now looking at the in-person option, your courses will have scheduled class meeting times, but some courses will still be offered online. For your area of focus, you can choose any of the seven areas, and the same is true for your advanced practice course outside your area of focus. With elective credits, you will have a wide variety of elective courses to choose from. Now with tuition though, if you do not reside inside Utah, you will pay considerably more. Beginning August 1st, 2024, we will be accepting applications for the following program options. Advanced Standing, Two-Year Full-Time, and Child Welfare, Title IV-E. Please pause the video now to review the information pertaining to the program option in which you are interested. This information is also available on our website. If you would like, you can pause the video now to review these important dates. Program options will run according to the following schedules. If you'd like to review this information in detail, please pause the video now. The last topic we'll be covering is MSW Field Practicum. Field Practicum, also known as an internship, is required of every mental health related degree. The MSW program has partnerships with over 400 practicum agencies. In your first year, also known as the generalist year, you will complete 400 hours, which is 13 to 14 hours per week. 
In your second year, which is also known as your specialist year, you will complete 550 hours, which is 18 to 19 hours per week. And also your placement in your second year will be in your area of focus. Up to 20% of first year placements may provide a stipend and up to 80% of second year placements may provide a stipend. However, it is best to assume that your practicum agency will not offer a stipend and budget your time and financial resources accordingly. As an MSW student, you will be assigned a practicum professor who will help you find a placement that is a good fit. Agencies do require interviews and practicum is usually completed during normal business hours. Most students are placed in one of their top 10 choices, although this is not guaranteed. And placements in agencies that provide stipends are extremely competitive, so it is best to assume that your practicum agency will not offer a stipend and budget your time and financial resources accordingly. Thank you for reviewing this video. If you would like additional information about how to apply for the MSW program, please scan the QR code or click the link in the video description to view a recorded MSW application workshop. If you have additional questions, you can also register for a group Q&A session by scanning the QR code or email us at msw.utah.edu.